So these three ethics, earth care, people care and fair share, they underlie the permaculture framework. So they ask, or the whole system asks you to constantly refer back and make decisions that are achieving those ethics in some way or form. So they're there as a reference and underlie all of the key permaculture principles. Well, if, if we look at the third um, permaculture ethic of fair share, uh, it is the one which I believe will be the most challenging for people of the 21st century, particularly people in the West who are used to thinking in terms of what they want as individuals. It's a, a really fundamental change towards a more modest way of living in order for the, the, the whole to benefit and to regenerate. And I think that's really, really important to understand that it's an invitation and it's very rich, but it is not rich necessarily in the same way as um, our current ideas of wealth. Just to offer like an example of that, so what Fair Shell Future Care is asking is not just for a council or business to think about what they need and want to do in the next year, but it forces them to have a decision-making process that questions what do we need to do to make our community healthy or this business exist in a hundred years time. It's like completely shifting the time scales you're thinking about and that really shifts the sort of decisions that you make. And also how do, how, what we would like to see here in a hundred years time, how will that fit with the rest of the planet and, and what does our community need to be doing such that in a hundred years time the, the connections with beyond the community are healthy and, and persist. And a hundred years is actually quite short. Yeah. So if you go back to the idea of seven generations, like if we as Food Futures are working on our projects now, how should we be designing them to make sure they exist in seven generations time to leave a legacy that we are really proud of? That's what that ethic is calling us to do in many ways. Yes, exactly. And if we go then now, we're, we are going to be talking about the permaculture principles as they were uh, written down by David Holmgren. But David's um, pr principles are in a way the easiest to grasp as a set of principles that you can work with uh, as you go through designing uh, projects of one form or another. Mm -hmm.